Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a haul that I got from In Love Art Shop. You guys know that I love to do um, collaborations with them. They sent me amazing goodies and I just kind of share them with you guys. And that way if you guys are interested, you guys can go check out their website, In Love Art Shop. In case you guys don't know, they are known for their metal dies. In case you guys love die cutting, that is the shop to look at. Um, they're one very affordable to their shipping is $25 for free shipping worldwide which is amazing and again they have a huge selection from holiday theme to um, regular theme to shapes and stamps and inks and all kinds of fun stuff so definitely go check them out I'll leave their information in my description box below as always along with the links for the products that I'm going to be using today so let's go ahead and get started because today we're going to be doing along with sharing the products that I got I'm going to be doing a quick little craft with me session so we'll see how this goes every time I craft on camera I get a little intimidated and I really can't like think straight so hopefully it comes out as pretty as I'm thinking but Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this is my product that I received right here from In Love Art Shop. These are the Stitch Stackable Triangle Frames. And they're so cute. You get a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you get it from largest to smallest. So again, a really cute little triangle shape. You can create banners. You can use these for cards. You can use these in your planner. All kinds of fun things. And then I also got the Sweet Day 6-inch um, paper pack. And it is really, really cute. When I saw this, I was like, wow, they are upping their paper game. I love it. I love it so much. So we're going to be using this today. Also got the Irregular Shape Lace Frame Dies. And these are really cute. I actually saw somebody on Instagram with these. And they embellished it so beautifully. So again, a little intimidating because I've told you guys, embellishing is really not my strong suit. Um, I do it really good when I do it in my TNs and all of that. I can get really creative, but again, I'm not on camera. So when you're on camera, you feel a little, one, rushed, and two, I feel like some of my thoughts just kind of leave my head. So it's really hard to think whenever you're trying to embellish. So I just pulled out a few things that I thought I might use. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be making today. I'm thinking just like a banner and maybe some little embellishments to show you guys how these stackable dies work along with the paper for sure. I pulled out a few decorative things, just some die cuts that I already had laying around like doilies and hearts, some bows that were already cut and sent to me by one of my subscribers a long, long time ago, some blue florals that I could possibly adhere a pink butterfly these beautiful um, spring themed stickers really pretty and then some florals again I kind of don't know what I want to create here but we'll see I also have a pink and white um, ribbon this is ribbon trim it's from the Easter collection but it's okay it's pink and white and then again I have all of my tools my glue gun is heating up and the most important thing, which is my Sizzix die cutting machine. I normally don't do my Sizzix machine on camera, but I'm excited to share with you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. My glue gun's still heating up. And the first thing we're going to do is open our paper pack so that we can see everything in detail. Again, this is a beautiful... I took off my nails and they hurt so bad because <laughs> I was cleaning and this one I kept hitting it against everything so it is in so much pain right now but yeah I gotta go get them done again um so again this is the sweet day collection six by six paper pad and look at how cute this is so again you have like the little sandals with the earth tone backgrounds so you get two sets of each this is like a pink and white really pretty Oh, this one's gorgeous. It has like the vintage clocks with the florals. And then this one just has different hearts with flowers inside of them. Really pretty. And then you have the blues. This definitely reminds me of Kathy. She loves a shabby chic theme. And this definitely gives me that vibe. So here we have this one. And then we got the pink and white polka dots. Really cute. And then this beautiful floral. Again, really gorgeous. And then we have 
the flowers with the camera super cute and then we got this grid really pretty it has kind of like a peachy blue color and then we have this one it says outdoors it has the clock the pink and white background this one's really cute it has the chevron with the border around it and then the decorative at the bottom and then the traveling one it has the suitcase the hat the sunglasses the globe again feels vintage really really pretty so um i think i'm glad that i actually have two of each because then i can try to create other stuff with it so let's see i think i'm gonna do one two three four five let's see this one's actually really pretty i think i'm gonna end up using both of these and then i think i'm also going to use the one with the camera because i'm a youtuber the one with the flowers the one with the pink I'm actually not gonna I want to leave one of each so that I have enough I kind of wanted to do a banner that says Ellie so I don't know I might end up changing it up I don't know where my large alpha letters are I lose everything you guys I have like I have so many things and you know what's so funny Cinco de Mayo just passed and I remembered that I had Cinco de Mayo like a fiesta type washi and stickers and I'm like idiot what? I didn't use it anyways oh my gosh my brain I'm telling you it's everywhere fogged up and this one's actually really cute I like the little time so let's go ahead and pull that one out so I think we're going to use those for now just to do a little recap we have two pinks and then we have two of the teals and then one with the teal and a pink. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. These are really easy. I know a lot of people get intimidated by using metal dies. I know I was at first. And it's really fun, you guys. I really, really recommend it for you guys to use metal dies. They are absolutely um, fun. I think I'm going to do... One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's do that. Um, so I think I was saying my Sizzix machine is from Michaels. I got it a long, long time ago. I've had it for a few years now, and I love it. It's my baby. It was definitely a goal of mine to get this, and I made it happen. <laughs> so if you guys want a Sizzix, Put it on your list. Maybe cut off the Starbucks for a little bit because I'm telling you guys, it is worth it. Sorry, the camera's going to shake a little bit. So you just kind of put it on there. You layer it and then, no. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't like when this happens. So we got the triangle, but as you can see, the lace border comes off, and that's pretty much how it is. I'm glad that it comes off really easily, but sometimes it's just a pain to glue this little stuff. But, oh well, we're going to have to work with it. We'll figure it out. We're going to go ahead and do the next one. As you can see, it kind of takes up the whole paper, which is nice. Then I really don't have a lot of waste. Again gonna shake a little bit so I'm just gonna turn on some music while I finish all of these and then I'll be right back
right, you guys. So I was able to cut all of them, but I really, really, really wish that they didn't separate the border of the triangle because I feel that's what gives this little triangle banner that look that it needs for it to stand out. So if I want to use the lace, I'm definitely going to have to use a background. So I would have to put this on a card or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the lace. I'm just going to use the little triangle itself. That's a total bummer. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And then I think we're going to make a little card out of this one. So let's figure that out. These are really, really cute. I think I'm going to use these two. When I'm stacking, I always like to use the biggest one, and then I skip the one that goes after that, and then I use the third smallest one because, again, you still have a nice border left over, so I like to do that. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I'm so bummed about the triangle. I wish, I wish, I wish that they did not separate it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. to the side I have a mess all right perfect so we have this I still need my paper though all right so we can probably do the card first which I think will be really cute Alright, so we're just going to use a lot of foam for this one. Again, foam can be purchased at Dollar Tree or I think Enlove Arts also has foam. So I'm just going to put one there. And then I'm going to put another one right here. Perfect. So make sure everything is facing the right direction. So I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to align it with the little polka dots that are over here. That way I know that it's kind of even. I'm laying it down a little crooked. So again, I got to follow the polka dots. Okay, perfect. So then again, I'm going to go ahead and layer. Okay. 
And that's why I like to use a decorative background because then for the back you don't have to worry about doing anything to it because it's already decorated. So then all I have to decorate is this little one right here. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm going to cut along the polka dot that's right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my corner rounder. I'm going to round it. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Perfect. All right, and then what do we have? We have this cute little bow right here. Let's go ahead and add it. Perfect. And then I have these little hearts right here that are really cute. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and layer them like that. I'm going to use my ATG glider to adhere it. And then I'm going to look for some alphas because I think I'm going to go ahead and write the word mom. There we go. And then this one, maybe we can give this one a little 3D pop. Why not? The more 3D, the better. I love 3D. Perfect. That looks so cute. So, um, we can even use some washi tape. Let's see what I have. All right, so I pulled out a few more things. Just bear with me as I try to get this little decor going. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and add this washi tape. Perfect. That looks good. And then I think I'm going to see if I have enough to spell mom. Yay, there we go. Perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the M. O. M. Gorgeous. Alright, and then of course, we should top it off with some enamels or some sparkly things because you guys know I love all things that sparkle. Let's raise this one up a little higher. There we go. And I don't think I can fit it in the middle. My goodness, do I dare? No, I'm going to leave it as is. And there we have it, you guys. That is a fun, simple, easy card for Mother's Day. And any time of the year, you can hand it out to your mom or whoever you want to put, sister, brother, whatever. But I love it. Look at how fun that is. Just a few little decor pieces, and we're good to go. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and do this little banner thing. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, now I think I want to layer. All right, we're going to go ahead and layer. So, I'm going to do some more die cutting. I'm definitely going to have to edit this video. Cut it down shorter. All right, I think we're going to do three. Let's see. Or you know what? Let's just do two more cards because... Ugh. We're going to do kind of like a little picture frame kind of thing. So I think I know what I'm going to do. We're going to change it up. I'm going to go ahead and add... 
little holes right here. I'm going to take my string. Oops. And I'm going to go ahead and attach it. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Thanks. There we go. Right. So we're going to go ahead and put it right here. I'm going to take my ATG glider. That way we can use the frame because that way you guys can see that, you know, it's fun to use the frame. Might as well. And then we're going to 3D this one because I think it's going to look really cute. We might even 3D one more. Why not? Let's go ahead and try to make the most of this. And then this one will be a little smaller. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and add it right here, just like so, and then we can layer one more. Yeah, let's do it. We are going to 3D the heck out of this bad boy. There we go. And then we'll do one smaller one at the top. And there we go. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a border right now. Let's see. That's really cute. Okay, or we can do this like white chevron one really cute all right so this is the tricky part you guys because again it's really really thin I have this pen right here it's it's a squeeze and roll and it's called two-way glue I actually got it at Michael's a long time ago I'm actually gonna need another one so what I'm gonna do hopefully my head's not in the frame but I'm just going to you just have to press and add your glue but try not to press so hard where you're not ripping the paper and then you're gonna do the same thing all the way around just like that and then we're gonna do one more so I'm just gonna hold it from the corner right here I have so many things going on in my table And we're going to take it and we're going to lay it. How cute! Oh, that looks so pretty. And just press down. That's all you have to do. Press, 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 and everything else will stay in place. Awesome. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and add this one over here because we want to layer, right? Why not? We could even do something really fun like that. Now let's just stick to the program. Perfect. Now this one actually might need another little piece so that it's not bent it inwards that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. That way everything is nice and even. And it doesn't look odd. There we go. See how everything lays nice and 
flat now perfect so we have this super cute little like banner type of thing I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot right here just to keep that string from like fraying more and the string is purely for decoration but if you want to hang it up in your craft room you can totally hang it up like that and somehow hide the little strings or just cut it and it's really cute it'll make a cute little decorative piece but we used the frame which is really cute should we use one more maybe this green one all right let's do it let's use it I have glue all over my shirt all right again we're gonna lay it down and I say this all the time but die cutting takes a lot of patience you guys but it's so much fun it really really is and little stuff like this like these pieces are really challenging but you know what it gets your creative juices flowing and if you're stressed out it'll help you it helps you keep stay sane especially if you enjoy it there we go all right where's my top so that we can close it up i don't think i'm gonna be using it again perfect all right so then i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna lay it down right there it's going to kind of go underneath. There we go. This one should have been tucked in a little bit more. But it's okay. Let's pull this one down. There we go. That looks so cute. Just press down. Oh, simply gorgeous, you guys. I love that. Oh, it came off. Because it's not. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to have to tie a bigger knot. I really want the look of the string. You can always make a smaller hole too. That probably would have been a better idea. <laughs> I have my crapo dial and that probably would have been better for it. But you know, it's the little things that teach you. There we go. And again, I just want it simply for decor. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I could even adhere that down a little bit. Should we? Should we? Should we? Let's try it. Are you going to stay? Just hold that down right there. Let's try this again. Okay, perfect. There we go. So cute. I like the look of the string. That's why it looks really pretty. And I like the messiness too. It looks really nice. All right, let's go ahead and add some little decor I'm 
Look at how cute that is. All right, and then let's add our little bike because why not? Let's put our little bike right here. So cute. Let's add a huge butterfly. I have this doily. I wonder if it's too much. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think I like it. But we also have this one. Oh, okay, let's do this one better. We're gonna go ahead and Add some adhesive. Just like that. Oh, that's hot. You can still see my little triangle, which is really nice. Then we're going to go ahead and add glue to our butterfly, and it's going to go right there. And I could still see all the layering pieces. It looks really, really pretty. I'm super happy with it, so we're going to go ahead and add an enamel right here. I think we have to bring this one a little closer. There we go. We'll add one right here. All right, and there you have it, you guys. A super cute little card that you can hang or just kind of like put on a picture frame and just kind of store it. You can send it out to friends. You can add a large pocket with some goodies inside. And I think this is the best embellishment I've done in a really, really long time as far as like cards and stuff. But there you have it, you guys. A few little fun projects with my In Love Arts dies and my Sizzix machine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notification bell button so that whenever I upload, you guys don't miss any of my videos. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!